Hey, I'm Luke with SNS Diesel Motorsport. Wanted to give you a little more detail on some of the pressure sensors that we have available. So we've always offered pressure sensors, but primarily in use for a lot of our race customers, competition type customers, to couple with our you know, standalone electronic systems. Essentially, they need a lot of sensors for data logging and making proper decisions. So um, we have those sensors available for that for Generally, like I say, it was it works really well in race applications, but it can work really well for lots of applications that uh, need to be able to measure pressure accurately. So, <clears throat> most of the pressure sensors out there, and the ones that we previously carried, uh, use a three-pin Metropack style connector. This is fairly common, cheap connector that is used in the automotive. Uh, aftermarket. The problem is these are not a very good connector in general. We would troubleshoot issues with customers uh, that would run into connection issues or intermittent readings. Um, the locker almost always comes off of them. The seals come out of them. They're just not a high quality connector that we would want to have with our with our systems. So we came up with a different design of pressure sensor, which uses a connector which we use widely throughout our standalone electronic systems, which is a three pin Deutsch style connector. Um, so these connectors are really, really good. Um, hardly ever have issues with them, assuming your crimps are good. Uh, it's a nice, good, positive, you know, snap connection. Um, and these work really well. So instead of that other connector on there, these pressure sensors have um, this much, much better three pin rectangular Deutsch connector. So with our kits, you can also um, order it with a connector kit also. Typically on all of our stuff, we use these round style. Um, basically the crimp itself is round that the wire goes in and then you get a, these ratcheting crimpers which do a really good job of making awesome crimps and quickly. Um, but they're kind of specially, they're really expensive crimpers. We don't expect a lot of guys to have those. So we also have terminals that have the normal kind of automotive roll crimp that you'd use with a more traditional style crimper like this. So we've got both options for that um, with these sensors. We have them in three ranges, um, can have others as well, but three ranges covers most of the things you would need. Um, so we have a 300 PSI, which works really well for boost pressure, oil pressure, um, coolant pressure, uh, lots of different things like that. That's the most commonly used one, um, is the 300 PSI. We also have 500 PSI, which uh, typically we're using on transmission pressures. So if you're looking at stator pressure, lockup, main line, those kind of things, those pressures can exceed what a 300 PSI uh, would be able to handle. Um, but the 500s do a good job of that without having it such a large range that you lose some resolution. Uh, we also have a 2000 PSI sensor. Uh, this one typically is just used for nitrous. Uh, nitrous runs at, you know, obviously really high pressures and so uh, the 2000 PSI sensor works well for those nitrous systems. All of these sensors are set up with an eighth inch NPT, uh, eighth pipe type fitting uh, for the threaded end uh, that is um, pretty widely used. You know, you can either your engine or piping or fittings are probably eighth inch NPT already, or if not, adapters are pretty widely available. So these are a great option for any kind of data logger systems, uh, anything you're needing to measure pressure. They're all five volt supply, so they're a three pin, a five volt supply a ground, and then a signal um, back to your data log or ECU, whatever it is. So if you got any questions, let us know. Uh, that's a great product for anybody needing to be able to collect pressure accurately. Thanks.